In this video, I'm going to be comparing four of the best AI app builders and AI coding tools right now, being Emergent, Lovable, Cursor, and Replit. So each one promises to make building software easier, but they do it in very different ways. Emergent and Lovable want to generate full apps from your prompts, Cursor focuses on making you faster inside your code editor, and Replit combines AI app generation with its all-in-one coding environment. So I've tried all of these and I've built apps with all of them, so stick around because by the end of this video, you will know exactly which one fits the way you like to build. So first I'll go over what exactly they are and who they are for. Starting with Emergent, which is really the newest one out of these four. So Emergent is positioned as an agentic coding platform. You simply describe your idea in plain language and Emergent's agents break it down, plan the front end and back end, code it out, test it and even deploy it live. It's built for people who want to go from idea to production with very little hands on coding. Lovable works in a similar way but with a bit more balance. So you chat with it about what you want to build, it scaffolds the app, then lets you edit and refine the code, it integrates with common developer tools like GitHub and Superbase, so it feels closer to something you can own and continue developing after the AI has generated the foundation, although Immersion does also have those integrations, especially with GitHub, so you can export your code with both of these. Now, Cursor is a bit different. It's not trying to replace you as the developer, it's trying to supercharge you. So Cursor is an AI-powered code editor that understands your code base and helps you refactor, write new features and even make big multi-file edits in seconds. It's aimed at developers who want to keep control but move much faster. And finally, Replit has been around as a cloud IDE for years, but recently it added an AI app builder and agent features. That means you can spin up a project in your browser, describe what you want and have the system scaffold a large chunk of it. From there you can tweak, debug and deploy, all without leaving the platform. Next I'll go over their features and workflow in more depth. With Emergent, the experience is almost like working with an autonomous engineer. You simply describe the app and it goes off to generate both the code and the infrastructure and you spend more time steering and less time writing code line by line. The trade-off is that you are relying heavily on how well the AI interprets your intent, but what I do like about Emergent, that I haven't found lovable cursor or replay to do as well, is really the AI asking questions about exactly what you want to build out. So you can see here the agent asked a question, you can see the specific enhancements, so it gives you a multiple choice, what do you want to focus on first, then the core features to focus on, and specific enhancements this is, then the design approach, and the authentication method. Now you can even auto answer that with AI, or you can tell it yourself exactly how you want it to be built out, then the multiple agents start building that out, then it may ask you another question, as it did right here. So it says, I have built a detailed Airbnb clone in this case. And then you can see the key features implemented, the interactive components, and then from there it will ask you if it should continue building on the following features. Then you can simply say approved or yes or go ahead, then it will start building that or you can say to build something else. Now with Lovable it's kind of similar, you just give it your requirements, it creates the app and you can see and modify the generated code. The focus here is collaboration between you and the AI, with the AI taking care of boilerplate while you still keep your hands on the wheel for refinement. Now I've also recorded an in-depth comparison of Emergent and Lovable, and in that comparison Emergent for me came out on top, and I had both of them build out the same apps, I'll link it down in the description if you're interested, but overall in that case Emergent was actually the better option in my opinion. Now next, Cursor keeps you directly in the coding seat. So you open your project and instead of writing everything yourself, you lean on Cursor's AI to autocomplete, rewrite or generate features based on prompts. It understands your whole code base, so you can ask questions like where is the login logic or rewrite this component for performance and it handles the heavy lifting. Replit combines elements of both. If you want, you can code in the browser as normal, collaborate with teammates and deploy instantly, but if you'd rather prompt the AI, its agent can generate a project scaffold for you. In practice, you can bounce between coding yourself and letting the AI handle parts of the workload all in one integrated environment. Now before the conclusion, I want to go over their strengths and weaknesses. 
So first for Emergent, its biggest strength is speed. So if you want to see your idea come alive quickly, it's one of the most autonomous builders available. The downside is a little bit less control. So if the AI makes structural choices you don't like, untangling them can be tricky. Now Lovell shines when you want both speed and ownership. It saves time by handling the repetitive setup, but still gives you the generated code in a way you can edit, extend and maintain. The limitation is that complex or very custom features might still require a lot of manual effort and a lot of credits. Then Cursor Strength is giving developers superpowers, so it's best when you already know how to code but want to be more efficient because it keeps you in control while taking care of tedious or large edits. The trade-off is that it won't build you a full app from scratch. You still need to be hands-on. Then Replit Strength is being an all-in-one space. You get coding, hosting, collaboration and now AI generation in the same place. That makes it a great hub for learning, experimenting or launching small to medium projects. But for very advanced projects, you might still want the flexibility of a local environment. Now in terms of pricing, all of these have free plans available, but then you need to pay more if you want to get more credits. Most of them start at around $20 to $25 per month, and overall the pricing is very similar. They will also have team plans where you pay a little bit more per member per month. So overall, which one should you choose? Now, whichever one you want to get started with, you can do so completely for free through the links that I'll leave down in the description. And with Emergent, if you apply this code right here, DANI, all caps lock, you can get 5% off of all of your payments. So here's the bottom line. If you want the most autonomous option that builds out the best app fully by itself by just asking a few questions, so you just tell it your idea and then it handles the rest, then in my opinion Emergent is the one that is best for that. Now if you are a developer who loves to stay in control but wants AI as a powerful assistant, definitely go with Cursor. If you want an all-in-one coding environment that blends manual coding, collaboration, hosting and now also AI app building, so a really good place to learn how to code, then Replit is in my opinion the best choice for that. Now it's difficult to compare Emergent and Lovable because they are so similar, they have pretty much the exact same idea, but personally I do kind of prefer Emergent over Lovable, but I would say if you are looking to build out an MVP of your app or even just the entire app itself in one place, then I would personally pick Emergent because I just like the way that it operates more than how Lovable works. But both of them work and my personal preference just goes out to Emergent because it asks you exactly what you want to build out and it helps you find features and angles that you may not have even considered yourself. So if what you are building is small to medium sized or you are just building out an MVP, then I would go with Emergent if you are looking for that fully autonomous AI app builder. If you are looking to build out a larger app with a lot of users, then I would go with Lovable because I do think that it is a bit more scalable. So again, there will be links to all three of these down in the description. And that concludes this comparison of Emergent versus Lovable versus Cursor versus Replit. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.